Hello everyone, I've got a walkthrough on how to liberate the King's Hot Springs Hotel in complete stealth, get that undetected bonus, $1,000 cash, and the 1987 Pygmalion Brew Leg. Okay, so this is going to be located in Faith's region. We're going to be starting from the, I think you would uh, say, southeast corner of the, the hotel. Yeah, and it's a little, a little east of the center of the region. Okay, we're going to be using Rifle Mastery, Locksmith, Rifle Ammo Bag... Primal Mastery, and then also Quiver Abilities. And as normal, you don't need all of these abilities. It's just something that can help you if you're going to be doing this. And then I'm going to show you the weapons I'm using. SA-50, Sniper Rifle, Long Range Scope, Suppressor Cylinder, and the Extended Mag. And you can find this in the Featured tab of the any general shop. Also going to be using the Recurve Bow. If you have to unlock this one, but the Compound Bow will do the same job as this. I'm using the Marksman Sight on that Recurve Bow. And I'm also going to be using Throwing Knives. So uh, once we hop in here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to run straight into, straight into the hotel. And I'm also going to spot these five guys that are outside. So basically there are eight, eight total at this outpost. It's a pretty darn simple outpost. If you do it, uh, you know, this way there's a you know there's a couple other ways you can do it you can do it where you just snipe them and then you get them all spooked and you pull them out that works too but i i'm just you know spicing it up a little bit this time so we're going to use our we're going to use our bow for the first kill here we're just going to hit her in the back leave her where she is and then we're going to go after this heavy here if you are going to use your sa50 for taking this one out i would at least suggest getting into the house and snapping this guy's neck from behind just because this guy is a little bit harder to kill if you're using your sniper rifle, it takes, depending on where you hit him, it can take two to three shots. And it definitely doesn't take just one shot with the sniper rifle because of the armor. So yeah, he's, that person is the only one that's like harder to take out than the usual. Then right after you take out that heavy, you're going to come around the corner here and then just shoot this guy with the bow once again. And he should fall backwards as long as you shoot him from the direction that I shot him from. Okay, next thing you're going to do is I would suggest pulling out your throwing knives. You can use your, your recurve bow or your compound bow, whatever it is that you have for this. But throwing knives are pretty darn quiet. And, you know, as long as you aim up just a little bit to compensate for that drop of the, the from gravity, then you should be good to go here. So we're just going to wait for this guy with the little triangle above his head to walk a little bit further away. He's gonna walk over to the left in just a moment here. He stays stationary for just a second. And yeah, like I said, we're gonna take out our throwing knife now and we'll take out this guy next, or first that is. Then we're gonna take out this guy to the right. And then we're gonna use our throwing knife on this guy right here. And we're gonna take him out next. Okay, three in a row. We're gonna pull out our sniper rifle now. And this is pretty much the, it, the end right here. We're gonna hit this guy, blow up his barrel, and then we're gonna shoot the last guy in the head. And boom, there's your undetected award. You're going to get that $1,000 bonus cash, and you're going to unlock that Pig 1987 Pygmalion uh, Brewleg car. Okay, last thing is the silver bars. Okay, so you're going to come around the right side of the house here, climb up the ladder, and then you're going to climb once again. And there's a couple different ways you can get in here. Uh, if you go to the left, you can get in without unlocking this door right here. You can just pretty much walk through the door because it's going to be open right here. Or you can unlock the door. Yeah, basically I'm just showing you there's two different ways to get in here. Either way, it doesn't matter. You have to have your locksmith ability in order to open that safe and get those silver bars. So that's that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's all I have for you in this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I think we have like two outposts left. That's it for walkthroughs. And then I'm going to be doing the rest of the prepper stashes, of course, and other games. So yeah, make sure to check those out. Leave a like if you like what you saw. Uh, make sure to join the Discord chat, link is in the description, and check out the video, I'm going to link in the top right corner of the screen. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.